This is a senior place. Elevator should be working and no elevator. Nothing. Nothing. Over the last week, several calls have come into the newsroom about a broken elevator in Building 4 at Alabaster Garden Senior Community in Pensacola. Like other complexes, there's two staircases on each side of the building, but here you'll find many people who struggle to use the stairs, leaving them with no option but to stay on their floor for the last week and a half. No, I can't do nothing but sit around here. One neighbor who goes by Mr. Bob says he sat right here in this spot day in and day out since the elevator stopped working earlier this month. This is the only spot I could go come in. Besides the elevator, the elevator was up running. I can get up and go outside, but I can't get up and go outside now because we ain't got no way to get down. How does it make you feel sitting right here? <laughs> Miserable. Miserable. Others say they've been told the elevator's being fixed, but haven't seen anyone working on it. As you can see, it's still out of service today. I'd ask them, hey, what are you doing about getting this fixed? At the very least, if you got somebody out here working at it, please at least let us know it's the invisible crew or something like that. Because <laughs> we ain't seen nothing. It's something that needs to be addressed by, by the folks that run this place. I asked staff at the facility for information on when the elevator will be addressed. They declined to comment. I'm waiting to hear back from the owner of the facility. Other residents like Mr. Charles tells me he's had open heart surgery recently and awaiting a knee replacement. The stairs are simply not an option for him, telling me he's scared for the worst. I hadn't seen nobody here to work on anything. I don't know. But I know this much, if this building catch on fire, you're going to show is. Because we got people up here. Can't get down, can't walk. Our crews captured a county work truck on the property today, but residents say they saw no one at their building. County officials responding to my request this afternoon, telling me two elevators were damaged from lightning strikes, causing significant damage to the circuits, and no decision has been made on repairs. I'm told code enforcement has now referred the case to the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation for their review.